Hi, my name is Louis Chabot, and uh, I am owner and director of Chabot Specialized Hockey Programs. I've been coaching for over 40 years now. I'd like to talk today a little bit about puck protection, using the net as a screen. I'm hoping that what you're going to see is going to really help you as a parent to make that small difference with your child and that um, some of the explanations uh, can be passed along to your kids. To my left, I have John Daniels, who plays for St. A's, and also Brian Sullivan, that plays for St. A's. Let's get to it, and uh, I really hope you're going to enjoy this video. So John basically has control of the puck, and I'm going to be the floor checker, the man who's trying to take the puck away from John. So John, what we're going to be doing, right, is we're going to make sure that you stay low, we're going to make sure that when you turn, you really lean in all your turns. And you're going to make sure that you're turning towards the boards. What's going to happen if you turn in my direction? I'm the enemy attacker. I'm going to come over and take the puck away from you. You're going to want to make sure that you're turning always towards the boards and staying low. All right? Okay, get a good bend on your, on your knees. Go ahead. Let's go. Stay low. Good, 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 good. Stay low. Quick, quick, quick. That's it. Protecting that puck at all times. That's it. Always turning. Stay low. Turn. Lean into that turn. Good. That's right. Now we're going to talk a little bit about using the net as a shield. And all we're going to do is basically have the puck carrier come in. He's the defenseman. That's his goal. The first thing we want to do is have good vision and awareness. So if I'm the defenseman coming into my zone, I want to make sure of a couple of things. Where is the pressure coming from? Is it coming from the inside of my body or is it coming from the outside? Once I've established that, I also want to take a look to see where my support is so that when I come around that net or if I spin towards the boards protecting the puck, I know where my teammates are where I can make a pass. Okay? Go! Good job. You kept your, your head up. You made sure that you bend the knees. You made sure that you made your tight turns and that you had a good angle going in. All right, so this time we're gonna bring it up a little bit faster and we're gonna make sure that you get a little bit closer so you get really the effect, okay, of being able to use the net as a shield. All right, go ahead, go, quick. Good, good. Excellent. This time, you're going to be aware that the pressure is going to be coming from the inside. Okay? So, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be skating in back of the net, but since the pressure is inside, you can no longer use the net as a screen. You're going to be turning and spinning to the outside and turning on your other side. All good defensemen, all good puck carriers have got to be able to turn both sides. Okay? You ready to go? Go ahead. Okay, good job. There is one more scenario that I would like to talk about, and it's going to go like this. We're going to have you, Brian, leaving back of the net with some good speed. Now, you got to also make sure that before you leave, all right, and you get control of your puck, you've taken a look where the floor checker and where the pressure is coming from. You're going to notice that the pressure is only basically coming to the front over here, waiting for you to come out. So, you're going to make a good stop and a quick release, a quick start the other way to escape the pressure on the other side of the net. All right? You ready to go? Ready? Go. So this basically demonstrated that to be a good player, a good defenseman, a good puck controller, you got to be able to turn to the left and also to the right. And I always recommend to young defensemen, keep your head up, and if you can pass the puck ahead, head man the puck, that's what it takes to be a good, smart hockey player. 